Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Kingsbury, and today I am going to just be kind of, we're just gonna do a weekend vlog and also my 39 week update. I turned 39 weeks in two days, and after a lot of hassle and um, confusion and voicemails, um, I was finally able to schedule my induction. So that's gonna be happening next week on like the day before I turn 40 weeks. So um, we are so excited and ready to be done. I am feeling um, a lot of the end of the pregnancy symptoms that I was feeling in my last video, my last update. And um, right now we're just like, you know waiting for her but also trying to enjoy this time as a family of three because we're about to be a family of four so that's what this weekend that's what every weekend consists of though so i'm i've had a really hard time with it it's been really sad and i don't feel like i'm ready to like share my heart and i know that they say your heart doubles and whatever and so I'm sure that that will all happen but I'm really trying not to focus on like the last like this is the last time I'll put Joshua to bed this is the like without him having a sibling this is the last time I'll make him a meal this is the last time we'll have a Saturday this is the last time I just when I start thinking like that it makes me sad instead of excited and we're gonna have a lot more times with Joshua um, and we're gonna have a lot more alone time with Joshua I mean a lot less but obviously the opportunity is there we can make it happen we can make it work and so I'm trying I'm you know I'm trying to enjoy it um, and embrace it but I'm also not somebody that wants to focus on it because I'm already sad I already realize that things are gonna change and I don't need to dwell on it so some moms are, are like me and they you know they they already know and they already feel those feelings and then some moms like really want to focus on it and do something special and that's awesome too I think it just depends on your personality so today we're gonna go check out this giant consignment um, sale I guess and I guess I'm mostly going to see if they have like playhouses um, and see if I can get Joshua one but we'll see how it goes all right, we are about to head to Athens for the day just to spend some time with my family and get out of the house. And I just wanted to update what's been going on. Yesterday, we had to be at home all day because we had some plumber problems. We had a leak that we got fixed. Today, we are... Okay, sorry. And yesterday, I was having a lot of cramping and acid reflux. I was having such bad acid reflux I thought I was gonna throw up. Um, it was rough but we pretty much just chilled, didn't do much, whatever. Today um, after I woke up I have been having cramps and I have been having tightening in my stomach where it feels like my muscles are tightening up but nothing that's like consistent or there's no pattern to it or anything like that. So um, those are the symptoms. Today I am officially 39 weeks pregnant. I did set an induction date and the induction date is Thursday, August 15th, which, which means she would probably be born on Friday the 16th, the day before her due date. So we are very excited. We are in the final countdown and um, we are hoping we have a fabulous day today. Joshua, can you say hi? Hi! Hello. Hello. Hey everybody, <laughs> apparently I'm only ever in the car. But <clears throat> we had a successful day in Athens. Um, that was Saturday. And then Sunday was really rough, to be honest with you guys. Saturday night, I was up all night with extreme nausea. Like, I don't know. There were points in the night that I was like, 
I might need to like call the doctor, but I just felt like if I did, the doctor would be like, okay, well, are you having contractions? And I'm like, no. Um, but I'm not saying don't call your doctor. Like if you feel like you need to call your doctor, then you should. I'm just saying I didn't because I ended up being able to calm myself down and feel a little bit better and finally go back to sleep. But I was up just feeling so nauseous throughout the whole entire night. So, um, I woke up at like 2.30 or 3, 2.30 or something and I took a bath because I thought maybe that would make me feel better and I ate an RX bar because I thought maybe that because I haven't been eating a ton. Um, I haven't been hungry. I have been thirsty. Um, so <clears throat> took a bath, ate something, drank some water, tried to go to bed. Finally fell back asleep. I was probably up for an hour and a half and then Sunday was just rough. The whole morning I felt really nauseous. I literally laid on the couch. Um, ben, thankfully, was just so helpful. And um, I did actually get up and I made us all breakfast because I thought it was important that I ate. I thought maybe that was part of my problem. Um, but I laid on the couch through lunch. Ben made us lunch. Um, I started feeling better around 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I was able to, I thought I should like move around a little bit. <laughs> so I got like, so I would get sleep. So I was a little bit tired. So I was able to get up, clean the kitchen, put the dishes away, clean the playroom. Um, we watched season two of The Center, which was really good. I was scared that it was going to be really disturbing. And it is disturbing, don't get me wrong, but it's... It wasn't like nightmare disturbing um, for me. So um, anyway, maybe watch it in the daytime if you get nightmares like I do. Um, so we watched, pretty much just watched the center all day. We watched some football stuff um, as the seasons are beginning, college and NFL. Um, and started to move around around that point. I did some bouncing and stretching on my exercise ball and that's about it. Um, I felt really bad, really gross. So then last night, Sunday night, um, was better. I was still up throughout the night and I still had some nausea, but mostly I had acid reflux and so every time I would sit up to, to get up to go to the bathroom because, you know, getting out of bed is a process. Um, I would have like, I would feel genuinely like I was about to throw up because of my acid reflux. Like, and so that happened whatever, five times throughout the night. And then every time I would turn over and switch sides, which I switched sides quite a bit. Um, but it was better than Saturday night. Saturday night I was like, Josh was ready to go. Saturday night I was like, I can't do this again. I can't have another night like this. So, today is Monday. I don't have a video up yet. But hopefully I'm just going to finish this video today and get it up for you guys. And just an update. Um, I am scheduled to be induced on Thursday. Thank goodness. Um... And today we got to get out and we got to get some groceries and stuff. Um, so hopefully we can make it through. Hey guys, it's finally Wednesday. Um, I have my pre-induction appointment today. So that's where we're about to head to. I just have to find a shirt that will cover my belly. And I have to get Joshua some clothes. Ben's mom gets in town this afternoon, which is great. And um, I guess we'll find out some more information at my appointment. So hopefully I can find a shirt that, um, that'll go over my belly.
Oh, this one will definitely. This is perfect. That's the laundry I have to put away. We are in the car, getting ready to head out to the doctor for the pre-induction appointment, um, see what they have to say. So I will update you guys as soon as we get out of there. The past two days have been better than this weekend. This weekend was really rough with all the nausea. Um, I've still had nausea, I've had cramping, I've had discomfort. <clears throat> all of the above but um, I was able to make it through the night much easier than my Saturday night experience that I told you guys about so <sighs> here we go you ready to go to mama's last appointment bud Back from our appointment. Whew. I am one centimeter dilated still, but he said I'm very soft. He said my cervix is almost all the way there. So tomorrow we go in for my induction. You're gonna see this tomorrow. So tonight we're going in for my induction and I will be um, doing Cervidil as long as everything is still the way it is unless I progress a little bit more by tomorrow. Um, but I'll do Cervidil from six o'clock at night to six o'clock in the morning. He thinks it'll work really quick because of how soft my cervix is. <clears throat> so we'll do that. Um, they'll start me on Pitocin. He'll come and break my water. And then he thinks because of how fast I had Joshua and how soft everything is, I'll have Delilah by lunchtime on Friday. So we will see. But the next video you guys see, Delilah will be here. So that's so exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can find out all of the details of what's gonna happen.